Hey guys, uh, today we'll be installing a fridge um, in the back of the Mitsubishi Pajero. Uh, I've been planning to do it for a while, but uh, I've been looking at fridge prices online and uh, got a quite a decent discount um, today on the Black Friday sales um, at four wheel drive super center. So I've gone ahead and bought this uh, 50 liter camping fridge freezer um on which as i said i have had my eye on for a little while um fairly good reviews online comes with a two-year warranty um and it's proper uh freezer fridge with a compressor unlike the thermo cooler that i've got right now which is okay but um doesn't provide decent sustainable cooling uh plus it's quite small and i believe thermo coolers do heat up the back of the car or uh, emit some heat so hopefully this one should work better um it's a decent sized fridge uh appears nice and sturdy and as i said it does come with a the two-year warranty um so you could just just i guess put it in the back of your suv or your car or you could mount it a bit more securely and permanently i've gone with the latter option and for that purpose i've um, purchased a tray or a slide um which is again manufactured by Kings and it is the right size slide for this type of fridge. Uh, this is something you will need to look at depending upon the size of the fridge that you purchase that you do get the appropriate dimensions um, in the slide of the tray that you purchase with. So uh, the principle is that the slide uh, mounts onto the back of your car and uh, that's something that we'll have to look at as to uh, where do we mount it or or screw it in or bolt it in and uh, and then the fridge goes on top um, and then you secure the fridge to the tray with some tie down straps like these ones um, that i bought from kings uh, from four wheel drive super center today as well so we'll just go ahead um unbox all these things and um, as i mentioned we'll have to install the slide first and then putting the fridge on it and securing it with those straps should be fairly simple and straightforward um, I'll just go ahead, open these boxes up, and uh, then we'll continue from there. All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and uh, unboxed the tray, the sliding tray, which is gonna hold the fridge. Um, seems to be a, a good quality um, make. The manufacturing company is actually Titan, so I'm not sure if it's the same as King's or a sister brand or, um, or a different brand altogether, but it does have a warranty sheet inside, which has got the King's label on it. So I think it's just perhaps a sister brand of King's. Um, offers 12 month warranty on the tray. So from any manufacturing defects, so that's quite good. Um, now, I guess the next step is for you to decide as to where exactly you're gonna put your um, sliding tray in the back of your SUV or four wheel drive. I've decided to put it here because it's close to my 12 volt um, outlet. So it makes sense to keep it close to there so I can just charge it from the car when I'm running uh, the engine. Um, when I'm not running the engine when I'm stationary, I've decided to put um, a battery box at the back of it, just between the seat and the tray. And I'll show you later when I've uh, put it up there. Um, and it's gonna house a 115 amp hour uh, deep cycle AGM battery that I already have. And I'll use it to run the fridge when um, when I guess we're parked or the, the car is stationary, so I don't drain the crank battery. Um, so it's fairly easy to use. You just got to uh, press down on both sides. Or you could press on either side, actually. So press on those little blue knobs, uh, press it down like that, and then it, you can move the slide back or forward. Um, as you'll move it out, you will see those little pre-drilled holes that are there to secure the tray to your um, to your car so you can use any kinds of nuts bolts screws whichever you like whichever you think works for you um, and uh, just you need just very basic tools like a drill and screwdrivers or wrenches depending upon the type of screws or bolts you decided to use so I'll just go ahead uh, mount this tray first uh, make sure it's all secure and then we'll start on uh, opening the fridge and, and uh, putting it on that tray. Hopefully it fits. All right, guys, so the tray has been installed. Um, as you can see, it's been sort of attached by screws and, uh, and uh, yeah, it's firmly secure. It's not going anywhere, it's not moving. So you can try to move it as much as you want, uh, but yeah, it 
but uh, it'll be all right in supporting the weight of the fridge. So that's all done. Uh, I've just unboxed the fridge and um, it actually looks quite nice. Um, so you've got a display here uh, with the power button, you can set the temperature and uh, nice and clean and with the 12 volt and the 240 volt cables both in there uh, with of course the use of manual. So what we'll now do is we'll just take the fridge out of the box put it onto the tray um, and then we'll secure it with those tied on straps which will probably attach here um, and then we'll be done so I'll just go ahead and do that next all right guys so uh, as you can see um, I'm pretty much done with the install of the fridge on this uh, sliding tray uh, seems to be working okay all you need to do is Press on these uh, blue knobs and that sort of pulls the tray out. And you can pull it out as far as you want. And uh, um, yeah, so it slides all the way back and forward. Can close the door um, without any drama. So you can see the door closes okay doesn't really hit the hit the tray or the fridge at all um, so I put it um, I actually had set it up maybe an hour or so ago and uh, it was at 30 degree the temperature and um, I can tell you that after the first 15 minutes it had come down to three degrees now it's down to two degrees that's what I've set it up at um, and it tells you your battery voltage as well I believe that should be the battery volts coming in um, the car is obviously the engine stand off now so uh, inside looks quite nice uh, you would have noticed I've taken the basket out and that's because it is a bit noisy when you're driving um, and that's what some of the other reviews had said online as well so um, I guess you could put it in but you'll need to find a way to secure it a bit better um, especially if you're driving on bumpy roads or uneven four-wheel drive tracks so look it looks good it's fairly secure a um, couple of things um, the straps that they give um, they're just cam straps I would have preferred ratchet straps so I think I'm just gonna have to change it at some straight uh, change it to ratchet straps which will be a bit more sturdy and secure and the other thing is um, once you have put the tray Depending upon the type of car you have, um, with this model of Pajero, um, you can't really access the compartment underneath it. So you've got your other gear there, like the hydraulic jack and um, stuff to change your spare wheel, uh, spare tire. Um, so you won't be able to access that. Um, I mean, you can, but you'll have to unscrew the tray and take the fridge out. So. I would suggest either you carry a screwdriver in your car for that particular uh, purpose um, or you just store your equipment somewhere else so but otherwise uh, all in all pretty good quite happy uh, very secure sturdy looking fridge uh, large capacity 50 liters and uh, yeah it seems to fit perfectly well so and um, there is a bit of space there at the back. Um, I am planning to put my uh, battery box there uh, with that um, 115 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery that I've got from um, Kings as well. But yeah, I just need to charge the battery and get it ready. So I will put it on later and uh, secure it. And uh, subsequently I'll set up a, a dual battery setup. Um, um, but yeah, that'll be a project for another day. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you like this video. Um, it is a sort of a, quite a handy accessory, especially if you're going uh, on camping trips or you're doing road trips, just to have a fridge there um, nice and secure in the back of your car. Plenty of space, can carry lots of um, drinks or foods and, and keep them nice and cool. Um, seems to be working well so far, no issues. As I said, it does come with a two-year warranty. Um, so any issues, you can take it back to the supplier.
Hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.